today we'll be replacing the bushings for the A-arms in the suspension of my Lotus Elise. The, these are the original plastic bushings. You can see it's old and worn out and brand new. Monoballs, which are solid metal bushings and should be less flexible and help with wheel hop on launch. Also be more durable. So first we're going to do the upper A-arm. So the first step is to bend back the tab washers on all the bolts. You can see this one I've already bent back. The rearward bolt is pretty easy. Um, you just get a wrench and a socket on that one. As you can see, this bolt on the forward edge of the A-arm is very hard to access. So we'll be focusing on how to get to that. For the moment, I'm going to try pulling that tab with pliers because I can't get a screwdriver anywhere near it. Neil knows pliers didn't do very well. I had a lot of trouble getting grip. I maybe made a little bit of progress. But we're going to try this bent screwdriver I found in my toolbox instead. Alright, I got a little bit of progress with a bent screwdriver, but with the angle on it, I'm having trouble getting it flattened all the way. I'm going to search for something else to finish it off. Alright, and so what finally did the trick was this pry bar, which was stiff enough and strong enough that I could get it in there and just push sideways once I had the tab bent out a little bit. So, with a combination of tools, I've managed to finally bend this tab, and we should be able to get a wrench on that nut. So I found that I could only get two box end wrenches in there reliably to stay on this bolt and for removal. The bolts appear to be in good shape, they both look like this, and we can see the nylock feature on the nut at the end. So with both bolts out, a little bit of a tug, and this pulls right out and can be rotated as soon as we take the uh, zip ties off the A-arm so we don't pull the uh, wire for the ABS sensor. Here's a look at the rear bushing. It's come part way out of the A-arm. So in order to remove the bushings, I purchased this bushing removal tool. It's pretty cheap, like 30 bucks or something on uh, Blackwatch Racing or any, and I think there's several other vendors that also sell something like this. Uh, having the proper tool is almost always a good idea, so I recommend it. Here's the proper assembly of the bushing removal tool for removing a bushing. Note that the cupped portion is inward on the small part, and the notch is towards the arm of the A-arm on the large part. And one simply tightens the nut until the bushing is pushed out into the cup on the other side. And a few moments later, there you have it, one bushing removed from the A-arm. We're going to look at the A-arm here, and probably just clean that out, make sure it's in good shape, but it looks pretty good. No reason it shouldn't be, there's been a bushing in it protecting it for many years. I want to show you one more thing, um, another reason I really needed to replace these bushings. As you can see, the A-arm was actually rubbing on the mount point. Over time, this is a, going to be a very bad thing and could eventually weaken the mount point. There's a little bit of a divot where that circle is. I think it's probably still fine, but it's good that I'm fixing this problem now. And we can see where the top edge of the bushing has basically been rubbed off. It's actually hard to figure out which way I'm supposed to be pushing this bushing out, but I think this was the original uh, top of the bushing. Alright, and there's the A-arm with both bushings out, and I've uh, wiped the inside of the, the uh, bushing area with a microfiber cloth, but really nothing else. It's pretty clean in there. And here are the monoball solid bushings that will be put in to replace it. They've been in the freezer all night so that they can be as small as possible and fit in more easily. This is an image of the tool inserting a monoball into the AR. The original tool had a little bit of a problem with this. It comes with an 8.8 .8 grade bolt and that bolt is insufficient to uh, really push in this type of monoball because it's a pretty heavy interference fit. So. Uh, I replaced it with a 10.9 bolt uh, after I found the 8.8 .8 bolt stretched and bent a little. Uh, so I also picked a bolt that was 150 millimeters long. The bushing on the forward lower rear of the A arms is actually longer, and so 150 millimeters allows you to handle all of the bushings. Once the bushing is inserted, you clamp it and rotate it a little bit to ensure there's no gap on the interior of the bushing. 
the gold parts can sometimes migrate outwards slightly. Once you've got the monoballs in, the arm should slide back into place pretty easily. If it doesn't, it probably means that one of these brass things here is wandered out and needs to be pressed back into the monoball. And so there we have it. We've now reinstalled the A-arm and we have monoballs in the top rear A-arm. And so all we have to do is do that seven more times. So the lower A-arm is going to present a few more challenges. We'll have to detach the shock here. We've got a brake line clamp right there. And we've also got the emergency brake cable right here, which has to actually be removed from the caliper and drawn back through. Then we have this bolt, which I is a little uncomfortably close to my jack stand, but I think it's okay. And this one back here, which is the other main suspension bolt. And that's pretty much it. Do the same thing on both sides of the rear. The front should be similar in many ways. If there's something interesting there, I'll make another video. Enjoy and be safe.